very good ball game. I thought defensively that was one of our better efforts this year. Uh, Ford did a great job, and Garden, uh, number three, I can't, Harden did a hell of a job on her. Uh, overall, we did a good job of helping, getting rebounds, and I thought that kind of set the tone. I thought, it, you know, if, we, if we're playing good defense, we play better basketball. And I thought that that was one of our better defensive efforts tonight, especially against a very good outstanding shooting ball club. This time we'd like to open it up for questions for the student athletes only. We have Shannity James and Taylor Ford once again. Please wait for the microphone. Identify yourself by name and media outlet. We're going to start over here on the right side. Uh, Troy Schulte, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Girls, what, what was kind of the focus coming into this game in terms of how, you, how differently you wanted to play from two weeks ago? I mean, Coach said, you know, defense, is that pretty much all you talked about here the last three or four days or so? Um, yeah, it was all about defense, uh, stopping number three kind of closing up the driving lanes and um, contesting more shots, not getting, letting her get any open looks. Taylor, any thoughts? Um, it was basically what Shan said was pretty much defense, but it was also on offense, concentrating and not turning over the ball. Cause last time we played there, we had several turnovers, which affected uh, us and gave them, you know, offensive points and uh, offensive opportunities. So that was definitely a, a big changer for us. Additional questions? Um, you, you guys won this game, but did you guys ever really feel all that comfortable? I mean, that's the way that they play. That's probably not a style that you guys really like to play all that much. I mean, did you guys ever really find a rhythm or, or gain any comfort tonight? Well, once you gain comfort, that's when you start getting lackadaisical. So definitely uh, us being on our toes was more of, of our game than, than getting comfortable and relaxing. Shannon, do you anything to add to that? <laughs> no. Okay. Further questions? You guys are a pretty quiet bunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. It's late. It's late. Y'all, y'all need to wake up. <laughs> um, Shan, just what was your focus kind of offensively? It seemed like early on you were pretty active, putting up shots and everything. I mean, did you think that was going to be important coming in, getting baskets inside and everything? Um, I just kind of let the game come to me. I really don't try to go get it because then it kind of goes away from me. So it was just more get rebounds, try to hit my team, because I knew that last time we didn't get a lot of offensive rebounds, so I tried to rebound more. OK, thank, thank you very much. Thank uh, you guys. Coach, we're going to keep you here for a minute, but we'll let the <laughs> student athletes get back to the locker room. I think they want me to go with them. They don't know the way back. <laughs> we'll probably find someone to show them back. And now we'll open it up for uh, questions for Coach Joe Foley. Coach, how important was keeping them off the free throw line tonight? I think they made 33 shots from the line last time, only six tonight. Well, Harden especially. I mean, she goes free throw line, it's automatic two points. And, you know, shooting percentage, she's a, she's a good shooter and causes a lot of things to happen. But she gets a lot, most of her points off the free throw line. We really emphasize, you know, <clears throat> I, I thought Taylor, like I say, she kept a hand up all, the whole night, first time. Since she's a senior, I told her that's the first time I've seen, ever seen her keep her hand up the whole game. That's how focused she was, and she kept it in Harden's face the whole night and, and didn't foul. The last time we fouled, and, and that's how she got a lot of her points. Again, we didn't turn the ball over until right there towards the end. And, you know, if you, if you turn the ball over against that bunch, you can't get a set defense, and, and that, that's where they're great. If you, if you can make them play against the set defense, then, you know, that works in your advantage. And we couldn't get a set defense when we played them in third place because we kept turning it over against the press and things. So, you know, a lot of things, you know, factored in to why we had such a good defense tonight. So offensively, you know, not turning over, not being in a big hurry and putting bad shots up and letting them get, get into that track run. And that, that was the key to the ball game. We made them play at our pace. We made them play against the set defense. And Ford made Harden play against a hand the whole night. Do you think you guys dictated the pace the whole game? Because there were some times, like I was asking them, where, where it looked like you guys were going back and forth and you guys didn't look all that comfortable at times but managed to kind of wade through it. Well, you know, and, and, it, and that's because they're thinking about what I've told them the last two days. You know, let's don't get in the track meet. And, you know, against 90% of the teams, you know, we're, we're always looking to attack. So it's kind of hard to tell a kid, all right, we're not going to take that first shot. We're not going to drive it on that first. We're going to make them play at least 20 seconds of def or defense every time down the floor. So, you know, our kids are wanting to break loose like they normally do, but they knew, all right, against this team, we got we got to do what we need to do because we had success at our place doing that. Didn't have success playing at their pace at their place, so they knew what they needed to do. And you know, until we made a few turnovers there towards the end, I thought overall that, that we pretty well were in a pretty good situation of controlling the ball game. 
does this give you pretty good confidence for the rest of the week just to start off with this type of no, performance? No, 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 no. <laughs> not with this bunch. I've, I've seen everything in the world this year, and we're going to go and we're going to prepare as hard as we can. And, you know, when you got freshmen coming off the bench, you know, our freshman two guards came in there tonight, and, you know, they were so so tight that they couldn't play, you know. And, you know, we, if you notice, we even played Shan out on Harden a couple of times, and that was simply to keep keep the experience out on the floor as much as we could. So, you know, it's it's we're in a situation where we're pretty thin and if we stay out of foul trouble and then we're we're pretty good shape. But and and you know, you can see Phony at you know, she's not, you know, not any close to you know, maybe sixty percent missing easy shots in there. But, you know, anytime she raises her hand her, her back kills her. So, you know, we've got a, we've got a lot of hardships and we've had to overcome them and we've done it. And that's that's where I take my hat off to these guys is they haven't quit with all the hardships that they face. They keep battling, we keep finding now we're finding ways to win. And I look forward to it, but am I comfortable with it? No. Yeah. One final if you have one. Anyone else? Thoughts on Western? Um you get a day off before you see club. them. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Coach. All righty. Again, UALR will play Western Kentucky on Friday at 2.30 p.m. So, um, we're very happy to have represented Troy University today in the Sunbelt Conference Tournament. It didn't turn out like we wanted to, but a lot of credit to UALR um, and their very good coaching staff. They did a good job. Um, we tried to do what we had done all year on offense, which was you know take it to the goal. We're kind of a one-on-one -on -one type team after we come off of an on-ball screen and they were hedging those screens really high, really high, and, and, and trapping them at times. And in that situation, we would need to have hit the roll person. And they, were, they had some long arms up there. We couldn't really see the roll person that well. And that slowed us up on offense, so they did a good job. This is the third time we played this team. They've played those screens three different ways. Every time we played them, they played them a different way. Um, they did a good job. Questions for Coach Rigby? Hey, Coach. Troy Schulte, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Um, the last time you played them, you scored 33 points from the free throw line. I think it was six tonight. I mean, how much a part of that is your offense and how much does that affect you guys tonight? Well, they shot almost four times the amount of free throws we shot tonight. We made 100% from the free throw line, but we only got six. Um, that's no fault of referee or anything like that. It's, it's because they attacked harder than we did. And... Um, they attacked hard and we had to foul them. And the other thing they did a good job on is when they attacked, uh, if they didn't have the shot, they kicked it out. Whereas when we attacked and we didn't have the shot, we took it anyway, hoping to get a foul. You just, and, and a lot of them were fadeaways. So um, we dialed the wrong number tonight. And I hate it for my girls. We're fighting hard to represent Troy University the best way we can. We're trying very hard to build a championship program. And um, we laid a lot of great groundwork this year. Um, but it wasn't our time. So we, so we wish you ALR the best of luck as they continue throughout the tournament. What did they do to give Joanna so much trouble tonight? Again, almost everything Joanna scores off of, or the most that she scores off of, is, uh, um, well, coming off of screens, shooting her shot off a of screen, and then getting free throw, get to the free throw line. If you look at it, almost half of her points this year have come from the free throw line. I think she only shot two free throws tonight. So that was a lot of her points, and, um, and you know, it was, a, it was a physical game both ways. Um, that doesn't always bear well on a, sure, on a pure shooter, a lot of contact away from the ball and, and on the ball. You know, it went both ways. And, um, you know, all year we just kept letting her shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. And even if she wasn't in her rhythm in the beginning, she would find a way to come out and get 25, 30 points every night. And tonight it did not happen. And um, I don't know if I would trade much uh, letting her take that many shots, which um, – you know, I don't know if I would trade much with that because it's gotten us to where we are right now. What did you think of the pace of the game? I mean, was this, you know, the, the pace that you guys like or did they kind of dictate things to slow you guys down a little bit? Or um, We certainly knew it was going to be a battle. They wanted to make it a half-court game and we want to push it to be a full-court game and a very fast-tempoed game. Um, I, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at film, but I think we almost did it to ourselves sometimes. We did try to push it up, but then we wouldn't push it all the way to the rim. And so um, we didn't get the results we wanted from, from pushing the ball up the court. I mean, we, we kept trying to press and create up tempo with that. Um, we forced them into 16 turnovers, and that's a lot for them. I think they average around eight or nine or something like that. But we were trying to force them into 25. 25 would have been a big help. But, you know, they handled the ball well. They handled our pressure well. Okay, thank you very much, Coach. Thank you.